I want to go into that 93 dra- uh, 2013 draft real quick. Not yeah. maybe not real quick, but so I'm gonna do a trick here, a little trick. <laughs> Where do you think I'm gonna go? Mitch Marner, Jordan Greenway, NHL players, Travis Konechny, Dylan Strom. And Mitchell Stevens. Who do you think went first over? You would know the answer probably, but who do you think went first overall? I know Travis went first overall. Okay, so Travis Konechny went first overall. He's good. And he's really good. In fact, because yeah. well, I coached a lot against a lot of these guys, and he was a gamer. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he was a gamer, man. He was a small guy. So as his draft, he was five foot nine and a quarter. He, get, you know, he made sure he the got quarter. the quarter. Yeah, yeah. Because it was important then. 162 pounds. So what they're mm-hmm. looking at is the potential, but he's a gamer. Okay. Second overall was Dylan Strom. So these guys both play in the NHL. Dylan was six foot two hundred and seventy in his OHL draft year. Fourth overall is a, a guy that I did some training with. His name was Sean Day. Sean Day was so in that year he was a year younger than everybody and he had exceptional status. Aaron Eckblad, John Tavares, Connor McDavid all had ex, ex, ex what's the word? Exceptional, exceptional. status. Yeah. So Sean Day was supposed to be the next One of great those guys, yeah. Next guy, like for sure, bona fide superstar. Shane Wright's and the newest one. Sean Day got drafted in the fourth or fifth round of the uh, Rangers, and never played one game in the NHL, and had a very, very and what a skater! Like there's all this stuff there, but there was you know, just never played in the NHL. Mm-hmm. Fourth overall. Fourth so overall. But this was a can't miss. You he this guy's gonna be a star. Yeah, exceptional status. Yeah, exceptional status. This is a for sure, for sure, NHL two years from now, three years from now, he's going to be making yeah. the big bucks. So we go through. Uh, Lawson Krause played in uh, Florida, Arizona. Okay, there's it. Sixth overall, Hayden McCool played in the, with the Spitz in Niagara University. Yeah. Sixth, so you're looking around, look, look at this, University. Hayden McCool. I know the kid. Sixth overall. Sixth so in all the people in the world, he was a big boy, right? Six two, six three. Tough. Okay. He gets drafted sixth over. That means you're you you are so good. Like you're looking at the midgets and you go that that six. Like there's no one better than this. So kid. you're right. So okay. So pause at number six for a second. Okay. So because okay. that's the first guy that no like nothing to scoff at. Like played four years OHL probably. Oh, then yeah. went to university, got a school paid for. Like yeah. that's great. Yeah. Okay. Now put yourself in that position. If you're mom and dad and you're a kid in your draft year, what that would mean to you to go six overall. And what you would think about going six overall. Dollar signs. Yeah. I'm going to make the NHL. I'm making the NHL. 100%. That is exactly what you're going to think, yeah. right? So everyone who's hearing that, the sixth overall pick, didn't play a game of pro, is now going to university, finishing, getting on with his life, which is no, there's nothing, no problem with that no, at all. We're talking but just, I'm just straight talking up hockey. About, think about from a hockey perspective, what that would mean for you and your kid, or if you are the player, what that would mean for you going sixth overall in the draft, the OHL draft, how unbelievable that would be. Yeah. Okay. Play, press the fast forward button for seven years, eight years. Yeah. And this guy didn't play one game of pro. So there's just, there's some perspective. I don't know if he was drafted. I'm not sure. I think he was late. Either. Well, even if he, and even if he did play a couple games of pro, right? Yeah. But even if he would have, he's still back in university getting on with his life now. Right. So there's, there's some perspective for you. Third overall. I don't know. I, I just don't know. Matthew Spencer went third overall to Peterborough. Don't know if he. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. And I, he could be playing. There's guys like Dalton Prout. A lot of people don't yeah, know yeah. who he is. Yep. If they were my, he wasn't my friend. Yep. Mitchell Stevens playing in Tampa Bay, mm-hmm. eighth overall. Um, so these other first rounders, you've, you've never heard of them. Like yeah, if, unless you're like a junior super fan, mm-hmm. you've never heard of them. And then it goes to George, sixteenth overall, Jordan Greenway, plays for Minnesota. Mm-hmm. So we got wow. so then, we got, and then, we got and then, ten picks between there where yeah. w- nobody knows who these people Zero. are. No yeah. one, not a clue. Not a clue. And then we go down a couple to the last pick of the first round, and you get Mitchell Marner at five foot seven and a half, one hundred and thirty pounds. Yeah. Uh, saw played against him. He was a good shifty little guy, and but but he went not, he went all the way to nineteen. So if you did that draft over, would he be nineteenth or would he be first, second, third? Yeah. Oh yeah. Right. Yeah, easy top three. Like right. unbelievable. Yeah. So that's the first round. And real quickly, just real quickly, yeah. second round. You've never heard of these guys except for, uh, well, you, you, no, you haven't heard of these guys. It's second round, 24th overall, London Knights, Zach Wierenski. Second or third overall, fourth overall in the NHL. Like mm-hmm. a superstar. He's like he's like same quality as Aaron Eckblad. Then we go down, never heard of him, never heard. Like 
you have never heard of him. Mm -hmm. Keep going down. Oh, here's another one, Luke Kerwin. So remember he trained with me? Yeah. Big boy. He was at yeah. the time 6'2", 220, big, strong guy. Played at the US, U.S. program a little bit. Um, didn't even finish the OHL. Yeah. Then there was one of our guys, homegrown Noah Bushnell, 33rd overall in the second round. Didn't finish his junior career. Yep. Good good kid. Then, okay, Ryan at 35. Ryan Moore, my my guy. Um, good good career, but, you know, they, no one would ever heard of him if it wasn't for me bringing it up right now. Mm -hmm. Second round, you never heard of anybody else. So, so, so what do we got, six guys now? So, yeah, we're at like <coughs> six, maybe seven in the first two rounds. So yep. out of the 40 picks, we got six guys that yep. – played some pro or any like kind of note in terms of or hockey st st still playing yeah in terms of hockey yeah. that have had like some something noteworthy happen yeah. that's the yeah. full f top 40 like no, these the, would be at yeah, the, that's the top 40 so to, just to reiterate again like think about that these yeah. are the top 40 players in your draft what that would mean to you to be in the top 40 picks yeah. right and out of those 40 there's six that have had yeah. something noteworthy go yeah. on right yeah amazing yeah perspective people so i'm in the third round yeah and I don't even know if I... Oh, I have a name only because... But I just want to go through it. So the first... Uh, da, 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 all, all, I'm not saying this. I'm being a smart ass here. But all Jean-Guy rubber boots here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, nobody, but nobody, 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 nobody that you would ever hear of. Right. Uh, one of my guys, uh, Doug Blaisdell, went to Kitchener in the third round. Good player, but good, mm -hmm. really good defenseman. Early bloomer. Yeah. Right? So we go to the fourth round. And at 64, 64, Matthew Kachuk, Kachuk. Yeah. Fourth round. Fourth round. Now, there's a little bit of, there's a, there's, you also have to keep in mind, which can go both ways. Uh, in the OHL, the US, the U.S. kids have a little bit of a, uh, they can play a little bit of a game. There's a gamble there. So if I'm the Windsor Spitfires and I'm going to take, I like Matthew Kachuk and I've got the sixth pick, I take a chance because he, they could say, well, no, we're going to go to Boston College instead. Mm-hmm. And you, if you, you pick them, there's a chance that they don't come. So sometimes that happens. Yep. But also, the the reverse, you think that your first round pick, but you get they take this guy in the fourth four, fourth round, and he's better than you, and you don't get to play. Yep. So like, the draft means yep. not there's, a heck of a there's lot. There's that example. It opens the door. So anyways, uh, fourth round, nothing, nothing, nothing. So nothing. and just pausing on Kachuk again for a second. So he's playing. Yep. Now, he's in the NHL now playing. Yeah. And think about all of the players that got drafted before him. Yeah. Right. All of those guys that, what are we at? Maybe seven seven names so far. Let's right? just say ten. Ten names. Yeah. That they played like a notable amount of hockey yeah. after yeah. OHL, right? Yeah. It's like that's that's crazy. Fourth round pick, man. Fourth round yeah. pick. It's like hundred percent. And he's one of the top right now yeah. that we're at yeah. <laughs> like for playing. Yeah. You know? Now, so we, as I went through the draft, like I mean, there's some guys that played, got a cup of coffee. Maybe there's a yeah, couple yeah, guys in right. there that actually made. And, and I just didn't go through the. Yeah, we're the talking guys about that, like the noteworthy, like big yeah, name guys. Yeah, but I, but there's also some guys in there that didn't get drafted at all, mm -hmm. who made the NHL, like yep. Anthony Sorelli's. I don't know if he's that year. I don't think he. Is. He's close. Mm -hmm. uh, but there's guys like that that made it. And there's guys in there that have made it or are going to make it, but they're just. I'm just talking the yep. ones that you would know. So we go to the 15th round. This is the last round of the OHL draft. So you're at 286, 287, 288. If we start going down, so in the 15th round, we just talked about him on our podcast mm -hmm. the other day. Was Sam Militech went to London? Now he's in Pittsburgh's organization. 15th round, 295th player mm -hmm. chosen. 15th round, almost missed. Yeah, it. there's just okay. So you're getting down to one, two, three, four, five. There's five picks left in the draft. So let's take. Uh, oh, I like this kid. Sam Melitak. Yeah, take Turns a out to be Whatever. a pro. Yeah. And a really good junior. Yeah. And then the last, very last pick of the draft, 299th Oshawa Generals picked Jalen Smerrick. And I coached against him. Last pick. You could just like draft your yeah. son if you want. Yeah, it doesn't matter. And he ended up playing in the OHL as a pretty good defenseman in Oshawa and Flint. And then signed with the uh, Arizona Co Coyotes. 15th round. When yeah. guys get drafted in the 15th round, they say, ah, you know, at least I thought it was a pretty good player. Yeah. It's amazing. Now, just going through that again, so we get to that 299th pick, 300 picks. There's there's one, there was something that went on, there wasn't an extra pick. But anyways, 209, 300 players. So if you if I was to tell every kid on my son's team that you are rated in the top 300, you're the, th you're, you're the 250th uh, you're probably in the top 200 to 300 players in Ontario. They probably think they're pretty good. 
Yep. Right? And really? you should. Yeah. Like top 300 players in the in the yeah, it's, province. Yeah. That's all right. Yeah. But that doesn't get you drafted necessarily. Nope. <laughs> doesn't. Because you still got guys from uh, th- from the States and then you have the mm-hmm. European draft and you got then now you got to beat out older guys. And it's really, really hard is my point. Oh, so, yeah. Well, in so in th- out of those 300, yeah. the big names, Marner and K- t- for me at least, mm-hmm. Marner, Kachuk, Strom, Konechny. Yep. Those are the four. Yeah. Of the 300 picks, those yeah. are, so obviously we skipped through a lot. There's guys that have yeah. played and they played pro and all of this, yeah. right? But yeah. there's four Jordan names. Greenway's good. Greenway, but, but for for me yeah. personally, right? Yeah. And I, you're way more on top of who's good and whatever yeah. than I am. Yeah. But for me, there's four big names coming out of that draft. If we want to be objective, even if there's eight, even if there's ten, right? Yeah. So out of the 300 that went, this is the biggest year of your whole life. If you're going into the OHL draft, right? All the parents listening right now, how important this is. Okay, fa- again, press fast forward, seven, eight years, and there was 10. 10 names where they actually are played substantial minutes in the NHL where everyone knows who they are. Yeah. 10. <laughs>